On this segment, we have the opportunity, we have Armando here with us from Tamron. He's gonna take us through their new 15 to 30 millimeter 2.8 lens, which is pretty exciting. So Armando, tee us up, tell us okay. what we got. So we're looking at uh, Tamron's first ultra wide. Uh, SP lens. Full frame lens. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, <coughs> fill is, fills in the gap of the trio, as you know. Mm -hmm. You know, your ultra wide, your mid range telephoto, and then your 70 to 200. So now Tamron has all three. You've got a 15 to 30 full frame, 2.8 constant aperture lens with vibration compensation. It's an so SP it does lens. have the, the stabilization. It does. Only one in this class that has that. Yeah. Yeah. And it has SP glass. Well, I right off the bat, one of the things I mm -hmm. like about some of these lenses coming out, I, I love overlap. So I mean, Canon's tech philosophy was 11 to 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200. Yeah. So you kind of, if you want, I mean, but I feel like that 24 to 30 range is such a useful, interesting range. So I love the fact that you've got overlap. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a 30 to 15, or 15 to 30, and then we have a 24 to 70. Yeah. So it's, I, I love the fact, I mean, you've got your top of the line manufacturers like Ingenue for film that do overlap. Just, just for that reason, that 30 to 40 range is, is what they do. But I, I love the fact that they've got that right off. Well, so what's our minimum focusing dis distance? Is You've got 11 inches. 11 inches. Yeah. So with something that wide, I was just taking a picture with it, and it's hard to fill the frame up with stuff. Yeah. You know, it's really hard at 15. It's beautiful, uh, though. It is. It seems that it's built solid. I mean, it really is built solid. It is. There's, uh, yeah. there's a lot of glass in there. That is a heavy lens. That is beautiful. And as you notice, it has the new tungsten colored ring. Yeah, I did so notice that. So we're going away from the gold. Yep. And we've got oh, really? The new tungsten color. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's, interesting. You're going to do that on all your SP lenses? We are. Mm -hmm. I love so it. So they're going to change the 2470 and also the 7200? I don't know if they're going to go backwards and, and change those, but all the new ones coming out, if, I don't know if you noticed, but the 16 to uh, 300, uh -huh. the 28 to 300, uh, all have the tungsten ring. Tungsten color. ring. Mm -hmm. Very huh. cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. 2.8. So, 2 yeah. so Canon announced mm -hmm. this morning their wide lens, the 11 to 24, but it's an f/4 constant aperture. Mm -hmm. So, so this one, I mean, it feels like. I mean, I, we haven't obviously felt the Canon one. This one feels heavy. Feels like there's a lot of glass in there. 17 elements, 14 groups. 18, 18 elements. 18 elements. 13. 13. Groups. 13, 13 groups. groups. That's right. But uh, I mean, this is. You just know that. I mean, that 2.8, that extra, extra stop of light. You know, you sometimes, sometimes you, you need it and you just yeah. can't push that ISO high enough. So, so is there? Talk to me about for because I do video. Mm -hmm. JP does a lot of photography. What's the video application of this lens? Are you seeing a lot of? Is there hope for a lot of video application or? Is you it know, more I just came from a trade show uh, this this past weekend, mm -hmm. and everybody was very excited uh, on the video applications of this lens. So you know, we're we're thinking that uh, the video market is going to embrace this lens very well. For, for video, vibration control is very useful. And so mm -hmm. you've got your stabilization built into this lens. I mean, you wouldn't think necessarily for a wide angle lens for photography, I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's necessarily so useful, but for video, mm -hmm. it just if you're doing handheld, just a little bit to kind of smooth that image out, it's just, it's really useful. You know, and one thing to know about uh, Tamron's, uh, you know, vibration compensation is that we do a three axis compensation. Mm -hmm. So horizontal, vertical, and Y axis. Oh wow, I didn't know that. And we also do four stops. Four stops. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So, talk about an architectural application. Is this a rectilinear lens? It, it's a rectilinear lens. Yes. So, I mean, that's you now have. I learned that word today. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and you've used that word today. <laughs> I'm gonna keep using it. It's my that's new great. word. That's great. <laughs> I mean, it, you've got to be. If you're at f15, this is an architectural lens. You're gonna use it to do those that kind of work, are okay. you not? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it just to have that kind of correction. Again, I just I can't wait. I can't wait to do this. <laughs> to, to a person? Probably get us both, right? Yeah, oh yeah, you kidding me? I got both of you in half the store. <laughs> That's so great. I love it. Okay, all okay, right. <laughs> it's such a, and it's sharp. Man, I'm going to zoom in here. Talk about the sharpness in comparison to Canon lenses. How do you compare? Well, you know, <clears throat> We are always right up there with them, if not in some cases, some lenses, we are a little bit sharper than, well, you know, than the competition, so. I, very I, I have all, I have all of them. I have all of Canon's lenses, I have all of, of Tamron's lenses, and I can't see the difference on most of them. On the SP lenses, you know, that you use, the 2470, 7200, 
the 2470 that I have is way sharper than my first generation the first, Canon. I mean, oh that's, my word, that was awful. I've <laughs> still got my Canon one, and I and I keep thinking I just need to sell this lens. I'm not using it. I mean, like you sold you, mine. I did sell yours. That's right. <laughs> but like you know, it's just one of those things that it's like kind of a a bad thing to sell yeah. lenses because once you sell it that's when you really need it yeah but i, I honestly I, it sits in the bottom of my shelf and it's just been there forever I just yeah. use it, but, so well i love the fact that it, it kind of fills out that compliment you now have a an sp lens in the wide it just it gives you everything you need to use yep. it really does so what else can we say about this what else can we <laughs> how about the price Oh, oh yeah, hold on, yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> All right. So there's the most important thing, and the price is not three thousand dollars, right? Not three thousand. Okay. Not two thousand, okay. but eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. Blows my mind. That just, blows my mind. Can you imagine? Too. That's just. I mean, as sharp, and I love. I mean, you you walked in, and the first thing I noticed was the build, the build quality of this yeah. lens. This feels it feels like as professional as anything I've ever felt before. But, but for 1200 bucks for this kind of a sharp wide lens at 2.8 constant mm -hmm. aperture, get out of town. Yep. Seriously, just take it and leave. So <laughs> just, take, just take my money and leave, just get out of here. Just get so when we get these on the shelves, can we see them? It's February, so we're gonna see them this month? They actually started shipping last week. Oh, did okay. they? So limited quantities, but uh, you know, they, they will be uh, plentiful, plentiful in a few weeks, yeah. Well, as soon as we can get a hold of one with a Canon mount, we will do a, a review. Okay. Absolutely. We'll do a Great. photo shoot with it and we'll do a review and really talk about exactly, you know, how does it work and, and what does it do. So, so I'm impressed. To... I'm very impressed. Great. Yep. Is this a new focusing drive than their other lenses or is it the same? It seems it's, fast. It's yeah. it's the same. Uh, we've used this on the seventy to two hundred and twenty four seventy. So all right, so it's okay, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, it's fast. It's great. It's responsive. Obviously, Tamron's our sponsor, but today we talked about the eleven to uh, twenty four that Canon has coming out, and now the fifteen to thirty that uh, Tamron has coming out. I use all these things. Lars uses them. He uses them with me. We use them himself. I mean, so yeah, everything we're shooting right now is shot on on Tamron lenses. So love the build. I think it's going to be a fabulous lens. And even though they're our sponsor, I think it's an honest review. A twelve hundred, eleven hundred dollar lens. Yeah, eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. So twelve hundred dollar lens. You're going to get in that kind of a world. Uh, that's fabulous. It really yeah. is. For a two point eight two, that's that. For me, it's there's two things. It's that eleven hundred or eleven ninety nine price tag and a two point eight constant yeah. aperture. Well, on a solid build, you got a lens yeah. that's going to last. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Anything else you want to say? Six year warranty. Six year warranty? Yeah. Man, it gets better and better. Can you put filters on these kind of lenses? Doesn't well, look like it. Yeah. yeah, there's no way to really thread a filter on there, but you know, I imagine that uh, somebody's going to come up with a system where you can actually yeah. mount them on there. there. So Just like a matter polarizer of time. Polarizer or something. Yeah. So thanks to Armando, who came from Tamron today to be able to help us take a look at this new. We haven't seen it yet, haven't gotten our hands on it. He brought it to us. So thank you very much for doing that. You're welcome. And we're excited to get our hands on it to test it and to shoot with it. So remember, you can see this segment as part of the entire. Trends from the Trenches, it's on theslantlens.com, or you can go to YouTube where you'll see these different uh, segments come up throughout the month. And also... The podcast. So if you want to uh, just kind of get everything all in one, you can either go to the website, slantlens.com, or just download the podcast. Subscribe there, and you can listen to the entire uh, episode on your way to work, or at the gym, or uh, what else? How many things could we list? Uh, listening, uh, doing homework. Uh, uh, There's those three things. You could listen to those three times. You could. So this has been Trends for the Trenches for February. Have a great month. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on going.